the last question um, is the level three section. I'm not expecting everyone to do all the questions on here, but those of you who are in the upper groups, either the ones looking to move up, so or those who have just come down, you should be looking to be doing the triangle-based ones as well. Now there's one extra question in here I'd like you to do as well. So level three, seven questions I think. We're not going to worry about the, scissors, uh, the cylinders at the moment, but you should be able to do question one, question two, skip question three, but you should also be able to do question four. And the reason you can do question four is you've been told the area on the end here is 24. If you've been given the area on the end, you can work out the volume by doing the area on the end multiplied by the length coming backwards. You don't need to work out this area, so you can do question four. And there's one more triangle, there's question seven. And I'm going to go through the question seven I've got now with you. Okay, so there's four questions I think you can do. One, two, three, and four. And that's four questions out of ten. So I expect to see four out of ten on this section, preferably showing me either your question seven or question four. In fact, show me question four when you do it. Okay? So this is the method for doing this question. Triangular-based prisms, the f key to these is a prism is made of rectangles going round a tube to make a tube. So a prism creates a tube. Tube, not a tube. A tube of rectangles. That's what makes up the sides. And the, what you would keep seeing if you cut through is you'd see this end triangle. Same thing going through. If you tried cutting through the triangles, the rectangles would be getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner, and thinner to the point where they become just a line at the end. Or on the base, it does the same thing. You get a thin rectangle, it's getting thinner, 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 and becoming nothing. Remember, to calculate these volumes, we need to have things at, that are going uh, made from right angles going round the tube, and we need the same shape going backwards. So the shape we've got going backwards is this triangle. Let's put in the pen. Now we need to work out the area of this triangle. I'm going to draw a quick version of it up here and bring to your attention that they also tell us the other sides. So we know this height is three, what the Americans call altitude. The distance across the front is eight centimetres. And they tell us the sloping sides are five each. Now we need to know which lengths are needed. We only need two lengths for an area. Area needs two lengths. When you come to doing repeating, you do need three lengths because two of them are parallel. We can find a half length. But area needs two lengths, and they must be at right angles, perpendicular to each other. The reason they must be perpendicular is the area we calculate by finding the area of an enclosing rectangle. If you can't enclose it with a rectangle, you might help me enclosing it with a parallelogram. <coughs> but if we can calculate the area of this rectangle, which I'll do in red, so the area of the rectangle is 8 by 3. And that's 24 centimetres squared. Because this 3 is the three on the end here. The area of a whole rectangle is the length of one side multiplied by the length of the shorter side, 24 centimetres. Then if we think about it, the parts that's inside my triangle match the parts which are outside the triangle. So this piece here matches to there, and this piece here matches to there. So we only need half of this area. So the area of that triangle 
is one half the area of the rectangle. So it's one half times 24, which is 12 centimeters square. To get the volume of the, cube, uh, of the prism, we have an area on the end. And this time it's an area of a triangle, not the rectangle, the triangle. And we multiply that by the length going at right angles to it. And that length at right angles is the 7 centimetres. 7 times 12 on your calculator should be 84. So on, 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 on. The on button. On. So 12 times by 7 gives me 84 centimetres cubed. Centimetres cubed, because this really is a power of 1, that's a power of 2. Multiplying, we've got three lengths at right angles needed, cubed. 84 centimetres cubed. Okay, so these, there's four questions from level 3 today. Question 1, question 2, question 4, question 7. Question 4 is the one I'd like you to make sure you uh, include in your notes and maybe show question 7 as well. Actually, maybe not because I think you might get the same question 7. So question 1 and 2. Show me those ones. I think your question 7 will be the same as this one. Okay, there you go.